Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, follow by the bell. So, Samsung's February 1st unpacked event is nearly upon us and despite the myriad of leaks that have taken most of the curiosity away from us, it's still one of the most important events the year, we'll see the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, along with the S23 and S23 Plus, and likely some new laptops, it's very unlikely we'll see new tablets, and extremely unlikely for any smartwatch and headphone announcements. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will carry on the design of its predecessor, but it will come in some new colors, like the cotton flower the light yellow one, and botanic green a different shade of green than last year. The Ultra will still have a built-in S Pen, a 6.8-inch top-of-the-line display, a 5000 mAh battery with 45W charging, and a 4-camera setup on the back. Among the big changes is the new chipset, which is a higher-clocked variant of the SD8 Gen 2, called Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, Samsung is said to ship its new flagship phones exclusively with Qualcomm's chip, which is a 4 nanometers unit built on TSMC's latest power-efficient process. It should both ensure the best possible performance and manage to squeeze more endurance from the 5000 mAh battery, the other big change will be the main camera, a freshly announced 200MP ISIS LHP2 sensor. It will provide different output resolutions, depending on your needs, 16 to 1 for 2.4 micrometers pixels at 12.5 MP or 4 to 1 for 1.2 micrometers pixels at 50 MP. It will also enable 8K video capture. The new sensor will allow for improved night mode images and better portrait video, among other things. The other two cameras on the back will retain the 3X and 10X specifications of their predecessors, even down to the sensors, but Samsung will surely make some incremental improvements to image quality. The ultra-wide camera will still be an autofocusing 12MP but will get a new imager behind the lens. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will be capable of space zoom 100x and moon shot. Finally, there's talk of a new selfie camera but all we know is that it won't be a high-resolution sensor like the 40MP in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Speculative rumors have suggested that Samsung will bring emergency satellite connectivity to the Galaxy S23 series, but it seems unlikely at this point, the other two phones will be even more incremental in their changes over their predecessors. The Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus will retain their 6.1-inch and 6.6-inch resolutions but will get a 200 mAh boost to their battery capacities at 3,900 mAh and 4,700 mAh each. The Plus model will have faster 45W charging, compared to just 25W on the vanilla S23. The S23 and S23 Plus will also get access to the faster Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset, the rear panel will once again be glass likely corning of some sort and the pair will come in a new mystic lilac color option. So, that is it guys, without being said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.